hello everyone and welcome to this channel and uh, in this video session i'll discuss coding external stored procedures that return array result set so basically we can return a cursor result set or an array result set from the stored procedure so this time i am creating an external stored procedure and i'm gonna uh, return a result set which is in the form of array so I'll be demonstrating you uh, through the IBM I green screen or run script utility that how we can uh, uh, return an array result set and how can we call that uh, stored procedure. So let's start with a demo. So I was just calling that. So let me show you the program which return the array result set so this one is the rpgle sql rpgle program so this one is the main and you can see this is the entry parameter to this program that is uh, integer uh, field p underscore fld1 and this is an array which is an ds array so I, I define it for 10 occurrences and uh, having field, field sub field field 2 of length 10. So why I'm doing this, why I'm taking an integer uh, input and having a radius of character 10. Just uh, let me show you. So we have this file extpf1 where we have two fields field 1 and field 2. Uh, one is of type integer and another one is of type character so we have this data in this file um, we have field 1 having uh, value 1 and corresponding records and field 2 having corresponding records in the field 2 for field 1 so we will passing 1 or 2 uh, for field 1 and we will be retrieving field 2 values so we will be having multiple uh, rows so we will be uh, filling up the filling up all the rows into the arrays array so let's see the demo so this one is the array array one so where we will be filling up with the character field that is field 2 in the file xcpf1 so here is the count which i took i'll be letting you know why i took this count so first thing I'm doing, I, either I can clear an array or I can reset an array to its initial value. So initial value for the array uh, is not defined here. We have not initialized yet. So we can initialize if we want. So here what I'm doing is we are, I'm declaring a cursor. Uh, cursor name is fill array for select field 2 from this file. So we are selecting the field 2 from this file xtpf1 where and we are applying a condition where field 1 is whatever we are passing as an entry parameter so we are passing entry parameter as either 1 or 2 or something else so if the rows or the if the result are fine from the cursor the, the cursor gets opened and it will fetch uh, 10 rows into this array. So what I'm doing, I'm not using the loop to fill up the array one by one. I'm directly fetching 10 rows from my table. So I, I know, I, I just assume that we, I don't have uh, more than 10 rows in a particular, in a table for a particular field one value. So I just assuming that and based upon that I'm using all 10 rows. So you can have for multiple rows, let's say for n rows. So you can uh, code like that into this array. So I'm, I'm filling up this array. So let's say I don't have 10. So I would have five or six rows only, but I'll be always be returning 10 rows from here. So I'm then closing the cursor. So basically I declare open fetch and close this cursor to fill up this array which is defined in this program so now i have data in my array so what i need to do is i need to return that array result set from this program so how can i do this so i have an statement 
exact result sets array so we will be setting the result set array with the array one so array one is there in our program uh, we must have to uh, declare a ds array not a normal array if you are going to declare array one like m10 so that go won't gonna work even you won't be able to compile your program in that case because it it, it gives you the error to will we'll say that the variable is not declared or defined or not usable so here what you will be doing set result sets array and here you need to provide the array so whenever we are using or providing any var variable in the sql we, we will be using the concept of host variable so this is an host structure array and for how many number of rows i would be uh, setting the result sets array so here what i am going to doing is uh, let's say i am doing for 10 rows I, I i took a variable count where i initialize it with 10 so i am basically doing it for n rows means count rows that is 10 rows so i am uh, setting the result sets uh, with array that is i am returning a result set array of 10 rows so this is the simple program which uh, returns the array result set so let me compile this first this is already compiled but let me compile it again so this is compiled with uh, zero highest CVRT now we need to create a store procedure that return the result set array so this was the uh, this is the uh, result set uh, return array result set to procedures what i am doing is create procedure in this library dot array result set so this is the name of the stored procedure uh, you can say this is the name of the stored procedure this is the input parameter for this that is field one which is of type integer and here we need to define a keyword result sets to one one always just because uh, it can return only one array uh, result set for cursor it could be multiple but uh, for array it must be one so time we can uh, return one array result set so result sets value set to one language is rpg because we have an rpg program which we are going to call a specific name is this so this is the specific name of uh, this external store procedure so this is unique always for any stored procedure so we can have multiple stored procedure with the same name but uh, the specific name must be different so that they could be uh, recognized uh, or differentiable within uh, among them and uh, this is the external name means uh, we are going to call this program so this external stored procedure will call this program and not deterministic so this is uh, the result would be not deterministic just because uh, we are going to pass uh, multiple values and the we are going to pass some values and uh, there may be chances that the data in the file uh, is not same uh, at, at every time and it reads the SQL data yeah sure because it is returning the array result sets and parameter style is generic so we are going to uh, pass general parameters we are not having db2 or sql style or uh, general with nulls so we are passing this uh, parameter uh, using general style and here we are executing uh, doing the execute immediate to create this stored procedure we can directly create this stored procedure uh, from the str sql or from the run sql script by executing this script but we are going to do this from RPG program. So we have a written a statement a script here and we evaluated that a script in the SQL variable, uh, a simple uh, variable. And then uh, we are treating that variable as an, a host variable and performing execute immediate to create the stored procedure. So let me uh, quickly this, this. So 
this one is created uh, let me uh, drop if it is already created so we have already created this procedure so I was dropping I'm dropping that um, let's create, create this ext proc 7 just debug this program uh, which is going to create a stored procedure set the bit point call ext proc 7 So we have this script create procedure this uh, parameter input parameter result sets one language actually specific name this external name this not deterministic it's SQL data parameter style general and this uh, execute immediate is complete let's check the SQL code which is zero means just check the DSP job log procedure this created and library this so we can uh, do the end debug first we can check this from sysprox This is the specific name, just copy that. So you can see the definition external name is easy class one xcpgm7. This is an external body. Uh, external language is this parameter style is general, deterministic no, reads SQL data, and all these attributes. So we can uh, also check the parameters information in this params. The specific name is this. So you can see only one input parameter of type integer, and it's the precision. Now we need to call this. Either we can call it from SQL, or what we can do is we can have a program here. This one, which calls this. Uh, procedure call this colon param1 so param1 is the integer here so we'll be calling this just uh, compile this first so this is compiled call proc7 Just set the point at line number one. Call call proc seven. Okay, so uh, let's see. The do shift F ten F ten shift F ten again. Uh, now we are in the program. Uh, which is called as an external program so here uh, now we are going to currently it's blank now the array is set eval array 1 eval this on the first position is this value on the second position is this value third position this one fourth 
fifth and sixth and on seventh uh, it's planned because we have not much data so we have six rows one two three four five six rows rows for uh, value one and now the cursor close and now it will uh, set the result set for this array and for 10 rows just check this job log one result set process by the set result set statement As you can see and this is the end of the program so the same way we can pass value 2 or something else uh, now let me show you uh, how we can call it from the uh, run script script so the easy way so what we will be doing is just uh, see this so we need to use this call statement here and in place of param1 we need to pass the value so if I pass 1 so let's compile uh, execute this so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 rows, 10 rows retrieved um, and you have 6 uh, value because we are returning 10 rows but we have uh, populated with 6 uh, values in that array. Now if I pass 2 here, You will be having two values because uh, you have two rows for the value 2, test 2 and test a2. Now if I pass something else uh, which is not there in the procedure, uh, uh, which is not there in the uh, uh, file even after that we have 10 rows return just because uh, we are actually returning 10 rows always and uh, but you can see the values are blank we, we, we have nothing in the array so the array is blank so uh, this way uh, you can uh, uh, call a store procedure which returns the uh, result set as an array and that is always one one array at a time you can uh, return using the result set so uh, this way you learn about uh, how you can uh, code an external institute proceed that return array result set so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time